and guys trust me you're gonna love this it tastes good it smells good welcome guys welcome back to Julie in the kitchen guys tonight I really want to welcome you it has been a while and I'm so happy that you're here with me tonight but guys before we get started I just want you to remember to like share and subscribe and at the end of this video if you like it remember to leave me a comment and don't forget to put your notification bell on that whenever my next video comes out you will be first to notify so guys tonight i want to make with you some jerk oven jerk oxtail so guys come on over with me and let's get started so here i have two pounds of oxtail already cleaned and wash i have my seasoning here i have my own personal jerk rub that i made from different seasoning i have my green seasoning that i just made scallion green pepper garlic thyme and other spring stuff i have some garlic powder extra garlic powder i have some onion powder i have my easy spice meat seasoning that I love to use. And I have my Walker's Wood Jerk Season, that's one of my favorite too. I have some soya sauce, I have some liquid smoke that I'm gonna be using to see if I get that smoky effect. Here I have some ginger powder, because I didn't have ginger root, so I'm using some ginger powder. Even though I have already had ginger powder in this rub, I'm gonna add extra. So I'm gonna wash my hand hands and I'm gonna get started so guys here we're gonna be seasoning up um, some people might be wondering oh jerk oxtail you could jerk anything you jerk chicken you jerk pork you could jerk any meat you want to jerk so we're gonna try jerking this um, with you so I'm gonna put it's like about two tablespoons of my green seasoning I'm gonna put everything there I'm gonna put all my rub there two tablespoons too I'm gonna put all my garlic powder and I'm gonna put my onion powder and I'm gonna be putting a small amount of maybe a half a tablespoon of easy spice meat season because it's it's salty it has salt in it but no MSG it's MSG free I'm gonna put like a tablespoon of my Easy Spice Jerk Seasoning. I'm gonna put small amount of soy sauce. So I'm putting the soy sauce in just to get some color. And I'm gonna put like another tablespoon of this smoke thing. That's a, that's a tablespoon, okay? I'm gonna add some ginger powder. This is a half a tablespoon of um, a ginger powder. And guess what? Tonight I really don't feel like using my bare hand I don't know why so I'm gonna put gloves on just to rub this in okay. Okay. so and as usual you know I'm gonna be rubbing all of these seeds into this and you can smell it already it's, it's already smell jerk and it's not cooked as yet and guess what it's really smelling good with that smoke liquid smoke so guys you must be wondering because I'm not going to be putting this down for no overnight or for no two hours I'm always gonna be seasoning most of the time I'm seasoning and I'm putting it on to cook that's me so and I always say as long as you massaging your your, your seasoning good into your meat you don't have to put nothing down for two hours once you're a cook and a good cook and you give it some love it's gonna taste good so don't think about oh I don't have the time to put it down for 24 hours or for three hours so I can't make it you're gonna make it because you're gonna give it love and you're gonna put all 
massage in the seasoning and give it some love and it's gonna come out really nice I'm sure it's gonna be nice uh, this could take a small amount of soy, more soy sauce so I'm gonna put that in so the only time I'm gonna cover this just for two minutes just to make sure I put it in the tray I'm not gonna be massaging any um putting anything overnight i do that if i'm doing big cooking and i want to prep overnight but otherwise if i'm just cooking for the family is cook and go especially when you're busy and you go to work and you come back home you don't have no time to cook anything put down anything for three 24 hours three to 24 hours and it's gonna be nice so guys, don't go away, stay with me and watch me finish making this. I'm gonna put this in the oven so it's gonna be cooking and steaming at the same time and then I uncover. So stay with me, don't leave me, okay? And remember, remember to like, share and subscribe. Don't leave without you like. You give me that thumbs up, okay? We'll be back. So I'm ready, I'm back and I'm ready to put this in the oven. I'm going to spread this out and I'm going to put I don't know why I feel stylish tonight I don't want to touch anything with my hands that's unusual that's not me I like to use my hands and my food but I really feel stylish tonight <laughs> so um so here I'm just gonna add some water in here. Cause it's, it's gonna take a while to cook. Because you know, as usual, oxtail take a while. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna cover it with foil. And I'm covering it up. I'm gonna put it there for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna open and I'll show you what it look like after 30 minutes and then I'm gonna be putting in it back. So here I'm gonna be putting it in the oven now. So see you, don't go away, I'll be right back. In the meanwhile guys, if there's anything you guys want to see me cook, because sometimes I need ideas too, so leave me a comment and I'll try making it. And I'm back guys, I really don't want to leave it for so long, I really miss you guys. So. Stay with me about the 45 minutes. Now I'm gonna look at my axe tail. And it was in the oven, I'm gonna be looking at it. So here it is, guys. Look how beautiful it looks. It really beautiful makes it. I didn't add any more water to it. It has some sauce going on here for it. Look and smell jerky. Guys, you really wanna be in this room right now with me. Smell really jerky. So here I have it. I'm gonna cover again for another 30 minutes. Right, we want to test it. It's cooking. See, the spoon can cut it. That means it's cooking. We're going to leave it for another 30 minutes. Okay, so we're going to put this back. We're going to put this baby back. It smells good, guys. It really smells good. Jerk, oven, jerk, oxtail. My God, I would stay with this all night. Look at it. Very nice. Smell good. Who say you couldn't jerk oxtail? You can jerk any meat. Any meat, any fish. This is so nice. Mmm, it look like pork, but it's like steel. Very nice. Is. The oxtail is almost done. And guys, trust me, you're gonna love this. Honestly, I'm gonna be eating a piece just for you guys. It tastes good. It smells good. Because I had a small piece. I tested it, and it was good. See? night it's cutting with the fork so it's almost done i'm just gonna put it back in under the boiler just to give it that nice grill color so guys this is the end color of my oxtail it's done my oven jerk oxtail look how beautiful it is it's beautiful and it's soft if you look you see my fork going through it so guys look at it so 
I'll be back. I'm gonna dish my food and I'll show you when it's over. As I say, I'm gonna dish my food and this is so good. This mac and cheese, it complements this jerk oxtail. So guys, it's from my kitchen to your eyes. And I'm so very happy to have you guys watching with me today. So please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave me a comment. And as always, I just want to thank you so much for watching. And please, before you go, don't forget to put your notifications on. Because when I come again, you'll be the first to be notified. Guys, thanks very much for watching. And bye. I'll be seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.